guys. Okay, I'm going to do a color in chat. I haven't done a color in chat in a while. I already started this page and I just figured why not. This is a buddy color with rubber nuggies on Instagram. And so, yeah, we're going to, you might see a dog face in here. Because my dog just jumped up here. Like, she's the boss. So, yeah, I figured I would just continue to work on this page while I buddy color. While I buddy color, while I color in chat. Hello. So, yeah. Um, I have not posted a video in a while. I'm going to tell you, life has been crazy. Um, I've just had too much to do. Not enough time to really do much of anything. So. But yeah. So I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I am not going to be able to keep this sh in camera today. Sorry for my language, but it is what it is. Um, yeah. I know that this is probably going to be like the most boring freaking color in chat. But we're doing it. So yeah, I know that you guys know I'm teaching middle school. Um, let me just tell you how much that's taking over my freaking life. Um, but yeah, it's, I am freaking exhausted when I get home. Like there's no, um, that, that's literally, you know, and that's putting it lightly. I am so tired every single day and like I'm not trying to make this all about like complaining and whatnot but I'm telling you guys this is this is what life is bringing that's why I haven't been posting so many videos um I will hopefully soon have um a video that was requested and it was um about how I do my George Tooth Fixes pages so I will eventually get to that video if and when I can. So that will be coming out at some point. Um, the camera, I'm just going to have to keep shifting it. So that's happening too. Love that. But um, yeah, I've got to get like a new um, recording arm because this one for some reason, like I tighten it all the way and it still shifts. Can anybody explain that to me? It still freaking shifts. So, it's like it's not, I don't know. Like, it won't get tight anymore, if that makes sense. It's weird, as I'll get out. But anyway. Um, so, that's that. Yeah, basically, I have just been so exhausted. I don't even want to, like, like, yes, I've been coloring. You guys will see, of course, finished pages and everything. Um, I have been Halloween coloring. I've been doing buddy colors. If you guys want a buddy color from this book, I have put a huge dent in this book. Between when I got it last year and now, I have put a huge, huge leeway into this book. So, if you want a buddy color from this or, you know, anything else um, that you guys may have seen um, me color in before, just message me on Instagram. My Instagram is just my name, guys. Um, basically, I use my personal Instagram and just post coloring, basically, on it. Um, you'll get the occasional, like, you know, picture post of me and my boyfriend. But it's mostly coloring on my Instagram. So, um, that's just something else if you guys want to follow it. If not, that's cool, too. But, that's basically, um... I don't post every picture that I do on there either, guys. Um, but I do post every picture that I do as soon as it's as I do it on my Snapchat, which again is also my name. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's basically how this color in chat's gonna be. It is what it is, y'all. But. I am telling you, I never thought that 
you know, teaching would be as freaking crazy as it is these days, you guys, but it's insane. You know, anybody that's in a teacher, there that is a teacher, I can't speak. Words are hard today. Um, you know, kudos to you. I know how you're feeling because I'm in that predicament right now. Um, you know, between the first few weeks of school was all about like, you know, okay, we've got to contact all the close contact people, get those kids out of school, all that. Um, and it started off the year strong with, we all know what, you know, now it's getting to where it's, that's not the issue, but the issue is that kids still have the attitude of, you know, well, you know, no matter what happens, it's going to be all right. We're going to pass and everything's going to be fine. And they just don't care, basically. So, you know, which makes, of course, it makes, you know, what we all do that much harder because you have parents and kids that just do not give a crap anymore. Like, you know, it's just they think that everything is going to be handed to them. And, like, I'm the first one to tell you that's not how the world works. You know, not everything is going to be handed to you or baby fed to you or, you know. So, you know, at the same time, you've you've got to realize that, you know, kids think that they are entitled to everything, I feel like. Um, you know, nowadays I feel like, you know, kids are just expecting you to just give them grades they don't earn and like, you know, oh my God, well, my mom, no. It's not, I don't know. To me, kids and parents just don't care. Um... And that's just the bottom line. Parents don't even parent their kids anymore. It's just like about being their best friend. And, you know, I I don't understand that. Like, you have got to be a parent, not be your kid's friend. You know, I understand that later in life when your child is an adult. And, you know... That's understandable. Then you are at the point in your life where you can be their friend. But you are, again, always going to be their parent. And that should be what's first. Like, I have so many kids that have told me that their mom is their best friend. Or, you know. So, it's. And you will hear the dogs bark. But it is what it is today, guys. Um, you know, bottom line, you've got to be a parent first. Um, and, you know, I don't see it anymore. I don't. Okay. Back to that. Take two. Um... But yeah, it's, like I was saying, it's that parents just let their kids do whatever the hell they want. Sorry for language, but, you know, it, like, it is not okay to do that. And then, so, they let their kid do whatever they want. And then, when they get to school, they think that, you know, it's okay to just do whatever you want. Because your parents let you. You know, that's what your parents have taught you and engraved in you, pretty much. Like, hell no, it's not okay. It's not, not okay to treat an adult, like, so disrespectfully. Like, that's, that's not okay by any means at all. You know, that's one thing that I cannot stand is kids being rude. And, 
Bottom line is that is what you're getting. And that is all that you're getting these days. There are very few kids that actually have true parents. And that's horrible to say, you know, and, you know, it's not a very, it's a very negative way to think, but it's a, it's the, it is the God's honest truth. Um, you know, but, you know, you do have, of course, you have those few kids that their parents, you know, raised them right, I like to say, and I feel bad for them because, you know, you're having to deal with the other ones that are complete idiots. And, you know, sometimes you get the crappy end of the deal because you are stuck with those kids that don't give a crap. Their parents don't care what their grades are. They don't give a crap what their grades are. Like, I don't understand why school has become, you know, not important to anyone anymore. Why is it not important for you to be educated anymore? You know, and I don't get that. It used to be that, you know, everyone's parents were like, you have A's and B's. Like, get your A's and B's. Pass every class. Like, and now it's just to the point parents don't care. Oh, you're failing? It's okay. Like, why is that okay? There's no excuse for it. You must be sitting in that classroom sleeping or not doing anything because, you know, most, and not all teachers, I can't speak for everybody, but most teachers are going to bend over backwards for the kids and, you know, do everything they can for that kid, those kids not to fail. But if you're not doing your part, as a parent or as a kid, you know, nothing's going to happen from it. You are going to fail and you, you know, it's going to be your own fault because you're not even giving in the effort or putting in the work. So, I hope that made sense. But anyway, that's my rant of teaching life. Um, and that is the situation. So, I am exhausted every single day when I get home. I, I barely even want to do anything, you know, I, I have done some, you know, a lot of color by numbers and, you know, coloring is my saving grace and it's what I want to do when I get home to relax. But at the same time, I don't, <laughs> I haven't been sitting down and recording it. I haven't. So I'm thinking what may end up happening is that I may have to um, do some like time. Um, oh my God, I want to say time lapse, but that's not speed colors. Sorry, speed colors. Train of thought, y'all. Sorry. All right, this is take three because my dogs cannot shut the F up. You will hear them in the end of that second clip. Anyways, so, it, I had to crate them, literally, so I could finish recording this freaking video. Um, but, if you see a dog snoot, it's the one dog that won't freaking just bark at nothing unless the other ones start barking at nothing. So, there's that. Um, anyway. So... It is pretty much, like I said, parents not parenting, kids not caring about anything. I have one kid that I don't, I have, I have a whole class that is full of athletes, okay? So, I have this entire class that's full of athletes. And, you know, normally the card that we like to play with these kids is that, you know, you're not going to get to play a sport. In high school, because you will be failing so many things that you're not going to be able to play. They won't put you on the team or they will bench you until you are not failing classes. So, 
you know, most of these kids are failing like every single class. It's like that type of thing. So, you know, we try to play that sport card as much as we can. Well, I have, you know, there are certain kids that to where they don't give a shit about that. They think that they are so good that just because they are that good, it doesn't matter. They're still going to be able to play. Like the fact that you can just have that attitude and like, I do not get it. I don't get why you feel like that is okay. You know, I don't get, I just don't understand it. Like, what is your mindset that you have to just be like, everything is going to be handed to me. I'm going to get to play sports because I'm so good. Like, the hell you say, that don't work. But like, you, the fact that kids, I, to an extent, feel like they're entitled and that it's just automatically going to happen and you know they're going to get to play because they think that they are the shit like I'm sorry that's not how the world works like I don't care who you are you know that's not it's not how things go like I don't get the fact that you think that that's how you're it how things are just going to be like I'm using glitter gel pens. These are actually a Dollar Tree set. Um, they are not the popular ones that everyone has, but it was like a set of, I want to say four or something. Anyways, any of the Do Dollar Tree glitter gel pens have worked for me. Um, yeah, these are Pro Marks brand. Anyways, not the point of this, but, um, you know, I, and I'm sorry to be venting about this, but this is my life. This is what I deal with every single day. And it's one of those things that I don't understand why education isn't valuable anymore. Like, why does that not matter to anyone anymore? Like, I, I just don't get it. Like, if someone has an inside scoop or reasoning as to why, like, I just think that... You know, we have to realize that the kids, you know, these kids, middle school children that I have, are going to be our future, you guys. Like, these are the people that are going to be working, hmm, at, well, we hope working in, you know, our businesses, our stores, our running, you know, companies and stuff. Guys, these are the things that we have to look, and they're going to be, like, I, I just... I don't understand why the value of a good education is not an important thing. Like, I don't know how many of these kids think that they're just going to be professional athletes and, like, that, that that's going to be their life. I hate to break it to you, but do you realize, you know, how many people that actually happens for? Like, I, and I know, and I'm not trying to be that negative person, like, you know, your dreams are not going to happen. But at the same time, professional sports are hard to come by. That just doesn't come to everybody. Just because you are great at sports doesn't mean that you are going to be a professional athlete. And I hate to be that person, but that can't be your sole plan. You know, that can't be the only thing that you plan on doing with your life. And some of these kids think that, you know, <laughs> they're going to get, I'm telling you, are going to get smacked in the face in high school because they're going to, reality is going to sink in that, guess what? I am not holding your hand. I'm not, I, I'm not doing it. No one's going to hold your hand. No one's going to tell you what you need to do when you need to do it. Like, no, it's up to you to do it, to make your life happen. You know, it's, Anyways, rant done because guess what? There's not a dang thing that you can do about it. it it's going to be what it's going to be. You know, if... You know, and I, and I hope by, you know, 
the grace of God that s these some of these kids realize and begin to realize that you know you're you are the you make your life. Nobody else does that for you. And you know, I don't know. But anyways, a lot of them are just all I've got to say going to get a news flash when they get to high school and realize that you know there is more to your life and everything than a sport. You know, and there's more that goes along with that. If you have a shit attitude, they're not going to put you, sorry for language again, on a freaking team. If, let's see. If you, um, sorry about all of the rants, but I feel like it's one of those things I just need to do. Um. What was I saying? I don't even know what I was saying. But, you know, you've got to... Some of these kids are just going to have to realize that, you know, it's not all going to be sun sh sunshine and rainbows and, oh my God, I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to hand everything to you. That's not how it works. Everything in life isn't going to be handed to you. But, yeah. Anyways. So, on a more, anyways, I keep getting interrupted. I just got interrupted by my dad calling to say, did you feed the animals? Well, duh. I'm not going to feed them. Anyway, so, I am like on a soapbox rant. Let's rant about everything today. You need me to rant for you? I got it. Anyway, but yeah, I hope everybody, like, I hope this wasn't too boring and, you know, Oh my God, she's just ranting. Yeah, I was just ranting, but you know, I feel like sometimes I've just got to do it and just, it just has to happen. Like, you know, so anyway, um, but yeah, I am actually going to finish this page. Um, I probably will just post it on Instagram. To be honest, I don't really think that I want to finish it necessarily on camera but i hope you guys enjoyed anyways um and uh, this is going to be several parts just chunked together so i hope that it was still enjoyable i know it wasn't very long um of a chat but i still hope that it was um all right and i hope that you guys still enjoyed it um yeah, I hope that you guys, oh my gosh, have a good October, and I hope to see you guys later. Again, if you want a body color, feel free to message me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys later on. Bye!